Hey, what's up, man? Yes, I am with Sit down, woman. So, what's up with you, man? Nice shit. What you been doing? Same shit, different toilet, my brother. Same shit as always. That's what it sounds like. I feel that. I hear that. So, today, we got a couple questions for you. A couple? Yeah, just a couple. We ain't, we ain't gonna take up too much of your time because leaked sources have told me you've been working on some shit. I appreciate that. And those sources may be correct. So, I ain't gonna take too much of your time. Alright. So, the first question is, so what pro projects are you currently working on? Projects I'm currently working on. Man, I, I had a mixtape It was supposed to drop on Christmas Day. And I missed it. So I got all the songs, it's pretty much done, so I'm going to drop it on January 1st. Yeah. Instead of Christmas, I'm going to drop it on New Year's Day. The name of the project is Sooner or Later. It's going to be at least 9, 10, 11 something songs. So stay tuned for that. That's coming out January 1st. So be on the lookout for that. Your new album is gonna be on January first. No, that's that's um my new my new mixtape. Oh, it's January it's a mixtape. Yeah, uh, I don't forgot what it was called. Uh, goddamn, sooner Let's or later, see. sooner or later, I might yeah. not even said it. Sooner or later drops yeah, January first. It's all good. Sooner or later drops January first. The album is called Wayward Words. And Wayward Words is supposed to drop in February. Um, I'm hoping that we can get February done. I'm not sure if February is going to be, a, you know, if we're going to be able to meet meet the date, but... It'll be got, done in February. It should be completed by February, at least. So we're aiming for a spring release. It should be... You know, we've already released the first single, so it's it's further along in in uh, musical production than one may assume. So there's a lot of songs in the vault. I'm looking forward to everyone hearing them. Don't even get me started on the vault because I have a lot of sources saying that you have a shit ton in the vault. A shit ton. I have a lot of songs in the vault. Vault 3D, they're listening to the Vault 3D in the background right now. The Vault yep. 3D just dropped in August of this year. Yeah. So there'll probably be a Vault 4. You up, going right into the next question. You also released the first single, Everything I, Everything I Want. Yeah, Everything I Want. Do you have anything to say about that? Uh... Yeah, I yeah. felt that was a song I made. Like, I it took me three hours to make this record. Like, I I I started, I recorded it, and it just turned out phenomenal. so good. It turned out phenomenal. Have you heard it? Yeah, you, actually. Yeah, I then, listened to it the other day. Then you know how it, it's just got a whole. It it was a vibe. I caught a vibe when I made that record. I caught a vibe, and I was like, oh, shit. You was shit. in the mode. You I was I, in that I'm mode, in and that's why that record turned out so great. So when I made it, I said, I, this is going, not only is this going on the album, yeah. this is going to be a fucking single, <coughs> and it turned out to be the lead single. Out of, out of the songs that we have right now, there's like two, two other songs right now that we got that could be singles, but... I don't think they'd be good serving as lead singles. So everything I want, or I want everything, is uh, is a good lead single. And it's it's an album, and I think it's a good lead single because it it sets the tone for the album. This is not going to be some hard album. Some I'm going to shoot up your your hood uh, album. There's not going to be no oh I'm a killer songs. There's this is going to be a happy upbeat turned up album a, 
a, a album with good vibes. So, I want everything. I think is the perfect single to introduce you to what I'm trying to, what I'm gonna Transition do. Transition to. Yeah, what I'm gonna do with. Um, Way, way, way with words. Mm -hmm. You're so, trying to transition people into yeah. what the next now, thing gonna be. Yeah. Now there is gonna be there, there's gonna be some hater. There's course, go, there's but. there's gonna be other types of music, but as far as way with words, way with words is me playing with playing with words is me doing different types of songs. Sort of like freestyle. Doing, is nah, that what you mean? Well, I freestyled. Um, What's it called? Everything I want. I want everything. Yeah. I keep calling it everything I want. I freestyle and I want everything because, you know, I would just record. I punched in. I recorded one line at a time and, and it just, I put so much thought into it. I was in there. It was a three hour session mm -hmm. and it just came out fantastic. So, so I write some songs and Every, all that. And going back to everything I want. Did, did you record it all in one session or did it you was do it all in one session? There really? was no, I didn't go back the next day and do anything. No, I was talking like an hour, two, three, three hours. It was in a, in a one, three hour session. Dang. That, that's, that's putting in the grind. Mm -hmm. A lot of songs, I mean, I'm mean, admit a lot of my songs aren't made that way. I'll, I'll record a verse here and then I'll go back the next day and do the hook. Sometimes they never get finished. So. Yeah, we rap Naruto. Shout out to Naruto. Okay. What's going on, brother? I'm going on to the next question. What you got for me? You've done a ton of music, a lot of mixtapes. Yeah. But you only have three albums. Why is that? Like, you got to explain your philosophy behind that. Cause that ma to me, I know I'm not an artist or nothing, but I, that makes no sense to me. Albums are a different breed. Albums... I feel like expectations are higher on an album. Yeah, because it's more songs. And, and, and I really got, I really, you know, I was on my mixtape grind. Mm -hmm. I really did. I a remember lot of, back, back in the day, you was dropping mixtapes every week, and then you would drop them a fucking album every two weeks. Back like, when you was in it, I back was, in the I was day. dropping so much, but now I see mixtapes them kind of let them die down. Mixtapes to kind of die down, so that's why that's one reason why I don't really drop mixtapes as much anymore because they kind of die down. And I do have a new mixtape called Sooner or Later, dropping January first, so stay tuned for that. But but yeah, um, as far as albums, my new album, Way With Words, I'm hoping to drop in February, if not February. It will be spring 2020. It will be my official fourth studio album. But the main reason I haven't dropped the album, um, I was gonna, I was aiming to drop a project called Nameless Faceless. And this was a dark themed project and it was gearing up for an October release. I had gotten a car accident at the end of July 2021. Um, broke my arm. That fucked that up. Um, I was recovering. I couldn't record. Um, I, I, then yeah. Hurricane Ida came through. Mm -hmm. Fucked us up. I couldn't record then. After I had finally, my arm was finally a little better. Now I'm out of lights for almost two weeks. So now I can't record Fuck, there. It was longer so, than two weeks. So it was no... It was no, I had to push Nameless Faces back. So in the time off between Nameless Faces, that's when I decided I'm gonna do way with words. Yeah. So Nameless Faces is still coming. Stay tuned for that. But right now I'm in a good mood. I'm in a happy mood. I don't feel like making, my mind's not in a dark place. When I was originally recording Nameless Faces, my mind was in a dark place. I'm not in a dark place no more. My mind's in a happier place. So I feel like making more happier music. Reflect that. Reflect my mind, if you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. Drop the split. Party foul. Oh. oh, I didn't. Well, he he just skipped I, next it, turn. It was on me anyway. That's how you go. All right, on to the next one. What you got? You like yep. What you got for me, brother? After recording music for so long, 
How has your recording process changed? Changed. Yeah, like when I first what? Yeah, like back in the day, I know. I'm not. I mean, I'm talking about your flow and how you record. Well, my flow got better. My lyrics got worse. I feel like when I first came in, my lyrics were like phenomenal. My flow was terrible. Yeah. The more I wrote, the, the, no, is. no. The more I wrote, the less better I was at writing. But the more I rapped, the better my flow got. So it was like my flow got better, but my bars got worse. So it was like a flip flop. Like if you listen to Alone in the Dark, boy, another party foul. If you listen to Alone in the Dark. Alone in the Dark is a classic. There's you know. dope ass lyrics on there, but the flow sucks. And then if you listen to Moments, the lyrics kind of suck, but the flow's there. So it is what it is. But as far as my style changing, um, you know, there's this new thing called punching in, where rappers record like a line or two at a time. Uh, I never really did that. Uh, but I ain't really been brought up to date on that. What is that? It's where like I'll be like, like I'll have to be, I'll have the beat going and I'll be like, yeah, I'm in this bitch and I'm turned and I'll stop recording. For Ten seconds and then stop and then recording. and then I'll start recording and I'll say, smoking so much you know that I'm burnt. Stop it. Then I hit oh, record and that's go too hit, much re work. hit record and then go flexing on them haters. You know how I'm rocking. Stop. It. Then hit record and say, I'm in it, bitch, and I'm diddy bopping. Stop. Yeah, bro. Fuck so, all that. So that's punching in. I've done it. I do it sometimes. Um, I freestyle. I still write. I don't write every song. I don't freestyle every song that because every song. every song is is a vibe, bro. Just like every, just like I want everything. I want everything was a vibe. I couldn't. I could not you have. You want to talk about a vibe? Let's bring I punched, it back. I punched in on. I want everything. You want. You want to bring back a vibe, bring back alien music. Sick. Alien that music was a vibe. Five. Yeah, alien music five. Alien That's music five. That was a that yeah. was a hit. It, it okay. still had it still holds up to this day. My bad. I'm just trying to get these letters stick back. Oh, All good, brother. Do what you gotta do. I just make this bitch real quick, you know. But as far as my evolution, I just um, you know, I freestyle when. Sometimes, if sometimes I feel if I feel like a record, like I'm working on a record right now, that's called Wait, that's called Fallen. And when I did it, I said, you know what? This is a record that's got to be written. This ain't a record that I can freestyle. Then there's records like this song playing. I don't know if y'all can hear this called I Like to Dance. Uh, I Like to Dance. I think was freestyle. It's just certain songs are freestyle, certain songs Thank are punched you. in. So. Uh, I, I just record every. It depends on the record. It just depends on the record. But I either freestyle, I punch in, I, I freestyle the whole thing, or I'll freestyle a few lines, stop and freestyle more lines, or I'll write the record. You know, it is what it is. But I don't write on a notebook. I don't really write on a notebook. I write on a phone. Yeah. But ain't you worried if you do do that, something could happen to the phone? When you write in the notebook, yeah, something could happen new, to the I'll, notebook. I, that shit done happened too many times. I'll write more shit. I'm just saying. A lot of, a lot notebook. of, you know how I got so many unreleased projects? A lot, of pro a lot of unreleased projects never came out I bet you. because I lost the lyrics, essentially, so I couldn't record them. So mm. Some dope ass songs. Some shit for Nameless Faceless. There was uh, some, I feel that. the second version of Boombox. Mm -hmm. A lot of shit got lost. I didn't know Sorry, my... Yo. I didn't know my voltage was way over there. This is real shit interview shit, sorry. Motherfuckers get thirsty. Mm -hmm. It is what it is. I got cotton milk like a motherfucker. I don't know why. 
think but, they know well. I think they know well. Let's, let's run on to the next question I got for you. What you got for me, bud? So, what are your plans for 2022? The upcoming 2022, year. 2022, man. I can, in, in a few days. I cannot believe it's already 2022. No. So obviously January first, I'm dropping sooner or later. Uh, February, I'm hoping to drop the album Way with Words. If not March, April, it's gonna be early 2022. Um, probably gonna be a few mixtapes, maybe some EPs in between. Um, I'm not, I'm not really planning anything big. Uh, mainly just music. I'm not. I, I don't know, I don't know what's, you know, every now and then people ask me about the, the animated series. Mm -hmm. I really don't know what to tell you about the animated show. I really don't know. So, no updates on that yet. So, really just music. There's more music on the way. 2020. Yeah, that new. 2021 fucked me what up. We was talking about. Uh, 2021 fucked me up, broke my arm. I was out of commission for a while. I couldn't, I couldn't, well, I could have, but I just wasn't in the mood to make no music. So I didn't make no music for like almost two months. Uh, well, well, I made music, I didn't make music for almost a month. Then I, like August 26th, I started making music again. Now August 29th, the lights went out. So, and then when the lights finally came back on, I wasn't even, I was like, Music. I wasn't even in the mood to make music. So I went two, mu two months essentially without making music. Yet. Damn. So. I ain't really in the music business or nothing, but what do you call uh, an album? It's not an album. I guess it's a mixtape where there's only a few songs or something. It's called an EP. An EP. And the EP normally has like how many songs? Well, you know, you like five to Five to seven. Eight, well, eight maybe. I consider nine songs. I can I mean I always considered it really like five because Eminem never really put out <clears throat> he was that like always putting out EPs and shit. And there was never really that many. I think ten songs is probably what defines an album. If you put out nine songs and you want to call it an album, I'll excuse you. But when you put out eight songs and try to call it an album, mm -hmm. nah. Yeah, I feel it's, that. That's an EP. Yeah. That's an EP. Well, we only got, well, we got, only really got one question left, but I even have a bonus question for you. What you got for me? You think you're going to be putting out an EP anytime soon with some of the shit that you got in the vault? Because I know you got some good shit in the um, vault. I mean, you can throw out the EP and the mixtape that's coming out. And you can be caught up for a little while. Probably Maybe not, take you a little break. Catch up on the music. Probably not nothing from the vault. Probably new shit. I've been recording mad shit lately. I'm finally back in my mode for a while. For a while. My oh, so is. you got, like, let's say, I ain't gonna say tons, but you got at least over an album made right now is what you're saying right yeah i could put out oh yeah i Damn. could put out sooner or later right now but, but i'm not gone i could put it out right now but i'm not gone yeah you got it. You i couldn't have put it. it out on christmas but i could now no you should because i didn't because i thought i lost some bro, songs and i, I do found have one more question for you because, what? and it ain't nowhere it ain't on my list and nothing it's right. because i've been listening to listening to music for pretty much Years and years now. Spit it to me, Lily. What, where's the fucking Christmas album? Because you do it every year. Seriously. I don't do the Christmas album every year. I did it one year. No, I used to always... No, nah, I didn't make it seven times. You didn't? No. Nah. I thought you did. I... Or I you made, made like a, at least one song. Yeah, maybe. I made a Christmas album in 2014 called Wish You a Merry Christmas. It was an EP. I don't know why I and remember. It had seven you. tracks. Five songs, two and I remember. intro and outro. I don't, I thought yeah. you did every year though, because I don't know what made nah. me think that. I, 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 I've actually wanted to do another Christmas album. Like every, every single year I think about it. I'm like, another should I, should, is, this, told me. is this the year? And it never is. Another apparently. source has told me that you also are in the works. It was in the works for a little while. You've been looking into it, a rock album. Too. A rock album? Yeah. 
Man, who the fuck, who the fuck is this source she's been talking? Why? Dude, this motherfucker been, this motherfucker been spilling all the beans. Oh, he, this motherfucker he that knocked over, you? this motherfucker that knocked over the whole can. I don't know who he's talking to. Um, I ain't gonna, I ain't even gonna comment on the rock album. Um, it's not gonna be rock, but it'll be rock. No, it'll be like, rock influence. No, you know what I mean. Like, it's, it's um, gonna be rap, but it's gonna be like. Rock too. It's some different shit. It's gonna yeah. be some different shit. Yeah, I'm um, I'm at a point in my career where, you know, I'm You're tired. Sort of branch out. I'm tired of doing the same old do. shit. I'm tired of saying, yeah, I got the swag. Yeah, yeah, I'm turned up. Yeah, smoke the blood. Yeah, I'm burnt up. To you. Everybody does it. It's, it's time, time to get burnt out. It's time to evolve. No, yeah. no more auto tune. All you fucking artists, y'all need to stop that auto tune bullshit. Even though I'm gonna have some auto tune on my next EP. Uh, the one that's coming January 1st. But, yeah, it's, it's time to evolve. It's time, so, yeah, I'm, I'm experimenting and I'm doing some different shit. So stay tuned for that. Mm -hmm. And yeah, you stay tuned for that. I think I think you'll probably enjoy it. It's, um, shout out to everybody. Shout out to every rapper. Shout out to Soldier. Except for Meek Mill. Shout out to Riff Raff, too. Shout out to Riff Raff, man. Jody High Roller, man. Lamborghini Leg Lock. And the real G-Money. He's G probably Money. big chilling at the Codeine Castle right now. And the real G-Money. Real. R.I.P. Draco the Ruler, man. Rest in peace, Draco the Ruler. Rest in peace, Young Dolph. Too many rappers have been dying. Bro, for we real. We gotta stop this shit. Y'all, we gotta stop this yeah, shit. Yeah, y'all do. Come man. on, man. Rest in peace, Draco the Ruler, man. I can't believe y'all was fucking I, that shit. shit that up. shit hurt my fucking heart, bro. Some of them people had a whole bunch of potential to make shit. Like and then and what? Then they kill shit. Young Von. They kill King Von. King this, Von. What, this January, extension. February, or some shit? Yeah, XXX. Nah, that was 2018, though. That then happened. I mean, rest in peace, XX and Tasha Young. But I mean, yeah, I mean, that, recently. My, my boy. Um, he died like June 2018, but I think King Von was like February of this year. Bro, but they get so like bro, did so many rappers this died shit, this year. About King what? Von, King they Von told him. Him. They called him up. They called up the homeboys that was down in fucking uh, wherever King Von was. Just say, hey, get King Von out of there. Get him on a plane. No wait, that was Pop Smoke. Yeah, that was Pop Smoke. And, they, and then they Pop killed Pop Smoke. What, like last December, like mm -hmm. a year ago? They called, they told Pop Smoke, they called and told him, bro, people are coming to kill you. I don't, I ain't, don't take my word for it. It was either Pop Smoke or I heard or that too, King I think. Von. I'm pretty sure I heard that too. It was one of them. They called, that, it was on the interview from Vlad TV or some shit. They they said, yeah. they even called him, said he needed to Shot get out of there before he get killed. I heard Because they knew he was, they had bitches or some shit that one of them. Yeah, the bitches was going to set him up or something. Yeah. I think I read that too. I wanted if to it wasn't about Pop Smoke, it was about somebody. It was about I, either I him that. or King Vaughn. I read that. I know. I, I feel like I because did. Because they really wanted both of them out of there. You gotta that. watch out for them bitches, man. Yeah. You gotta watch out for them bitches, boy. They be setting you up. Hashtag hard on hoes, man. Little tripper. It's Pop. I'm gonna have to. Okay, well, we're gonna have to wrap it up here. Wrap it up. Thanks for chopping it up with us, tripper. Ain't no problem, man. You take care. Take and care. Happy late Christmas. I mean, happy this late the day Christmas, after bro. Christmas. Happy late Christmas. Operation JIT. You already know what it is. This your boy, Triple Gunner. New, new mixtape. Sooner or later, I cannot remember the name for some reason. It's because I had like three different names I was picking from. and Everything I want I, I, I still kind of... Uh, no, I'm talking about the, the album. Oh, no, the, the mixtape. I can't remember the names because I. It was either versus the world, results may vary, or sooner or later. Oh, yeah, was, and I and I and I vary. decided to do sooner or later. So. Oh, you did? Yeah. You didn't tell me that one. Yeah. So sooner or later. So sooner or later drops January first. Stay tuned for that album. Hopefully in February. If not, I'll give y'all an update. You can follow me Twitter at Trip and Gunham, Instagram at Trip and Gunham. Links in the description. Y'all already know what it is. Instagram Operation Jet. Follow Instagram at Operation Jet. Y'all already know what the fuck going on. This your boy Triple Gunner. This your boy Jet. Yeah. And we out boy. this bitch. <laughs>